Do you want to know what's in the September? I'm going to try and get through this video without clapping. Do you want to know what's inside the September Palafel Packs box? Well, I do, so <laughs> that's what we're going to do today. If there's no objections, greeted by some beautiful green maggots. This lonely pencil, it looks just like the others, but it's all alone. Oh, it's a blender. Yeah. Also in the box, this looks like a pencil sharpener by Kuinor. Well, it actually looks like a tiny little trash can. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Next, these are also by Kuinor. This has a blender in it too. They double us on blenders. I wonder if that was a lack of communication. I don't blame them. I hate responding to emails. Oh, it's a whole army of those crazy multicolored pencils. Don't they just look magical? See how they're like checkerboard? I've only tried one of these pencils once before, but I've been since told that they're basically a commodity and you can find them just about anywhere. And I obviously live under a rock and I had never seen them before. So now I'm going to calm myself because I have seen them once before now. So I'm going to uh, remain calm today. Oh, this is a tin. Wait, can I get excited about the tin? Okay, it's a little different. I thought they were exactly the same. They probably still function the same, but the one that came in the box says tritone on it, whereas the one that came all by its lonesome is a poly color. I'm sure they're probably at least distant cousins. Oh, but I did want to say, ever since I saw the first pencil like this, it always makes me think back on this old Disney cartoon where I think it was in Santa's workshop and the elves had little paintbrushes and inside the paint was checkerboard paint and they dipped the paintbrush in the checkerboard paint and it would come out and it would look like checkerboard on the brush and then they'd paint it on these squares and it would create a checkerboard that they could give to the children and I just, I have dreams about a paint that works like that. It's just not possible but these tease me, that's all I'm saying. I'll show you how they work though in a second. Let's see, next thing I see in the box, like a couple fine liners. Looks like we have a size 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and 0 0.1, which are actually the three sizes I like to use the most, so that's pretty handy. Also, just like every other box, we have the menu with the list of art supplies and little descriptions for each. And then on the back, they also give a prompt word for each week of the month. Let's see what kind of paper they've picked out for us. Ooh, Bristol board. We got 15 sheets of the Series 400 Bristol board. What even is that? No offense, Leslie, but this looks like something that would haunt my dreams. It's very intricate. Is that a person in their brain? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to look at it anymore. Okay. I've also got my sketchbook so I can test them out a little bit. This is really nice paper, so I don't really want to swatch them directly on that presently. I'd rather try that out in my sketchbook. My opinion on fine liners is just find the cheapest ones that you can because you'll go through them. <laughs> Even the priciest ones only last so long and they're not refillable in any way. So just save yourself some trouble and buy the cheapest ones. I don't know how much these ones cost. They don't give me the appearance that they're expensive. That's the only reason I'm saying that. And look, they work perfectly. The only thing that matters is whether it's alcohol or water-based. So depending on the medium you plan on using with them, you should pay attention to that. I like how they put little colors signifying the three colors that they used in each of the lids. Oh, they have little names for each of the color schemes. This one is Volcano, Sunset, Tiger, Flame, Maddie Gold. Maddie Gold? How come when I say that it sounds like I have an accent? Maddie Gold, Maddie Gold. I wonder if that's a typo. Summer Sky, Ocean, Meadow, Rainforest, what's this one? Evening Storm, and then the two colorless blenders. Those actually work a lot cooler than I remember the other one that I've tested worked. It doesn't really say how to use them together, so I guess it's up to us. So apparently all of these colors are braided together. Three different colored LEDs are braided together. And then it looks like this. And then when you use it, it kind of alternates between the colors. And they're supposed to be all colors that are kind of found in nature, which you can see by their color names. I'm just going to try and sketch with these and see how the color changing actually affects what I draw. See how noticeable it is before I jump right into an illustration. I don't want to get to know the art supply. Mermaid-like. <laughs> Try out the sharpener. 
usually can tell right off the bat whether it's a good or a bad sharpener. With me, sharpeners either work or they don't. <laughs> yeah. That's not good. Really put the sharpener to the test. I don't know if these pencils are a different shape than this sharpener. It doesn't feel like it fits properly. Okay, I take it back. This is a bad sharpener. I have sharpeners that never get lead stuck in them. Sharpeners that always get lead stuck in them. I don't understand how the design aspect comes down. Yeah, stay. Get out of there. Give you one last try. Otherwise I'm going back to Old Faith. Ugh. Just keeps eating the lead and doesn't let it out again. This is the single only sharpener that I don't have this problem with. It's a Stedler graphite pencil. I mean, I don't really know much more from that, but watch this magic. Should probably be. There we go. Now we can get back to drawing. Look how short this thing is. <laughs> That's not good. I'm gonna switch over to this other blue one. What, I was using Summer Sky. I'm gonna switch to Ocean. See how that changes things? It's definitely a darker color. I do like how soft the lead feels. It's very easy to use and very pigmented. They didn't include eraser, so I'm gonna guess it's not. Yeah, not really. Let me try a more hefty eraser. You can definitely lift some of the pigment. Let's try the colorless blender. Ew, it had green on it. I think my favorite part about these, I don't know if like the tricolor thing is doing its magic or whatnot, but I just like how smooth these pencils are compared to some of the ones I've used in the past. They just feel a little goopier. <laughs> Try this one. It has the most like different colors in its little mixture. Okay, I can definitely see a little bit of change there. Ooh, I love how that red turned into blue. There's like that smooth gradient. You can't really control it. You're at the whim of whatever happens. For this one, it's a lot more obvious because the color is so different. Whereas the other two that I used, they were all different shades of blue. But look at just the tone and the difference of like this illustration versus this one. This one just seems darker and less pleasant than this one. <laughs> Not the color I would choose for a mermaid drawing. <laughs> it was called Evening Storm and I'm totally getting that from it because it gives me like almost a villainous vibe just from a color scheme. It's kind of interesting. Let's try using the liners on top of them, see if they work that way or Maybe I'm gonna have to use the pencils on top of the liner. We don't know that yet. Sometimes some things don't stick on top of other art supplies. <laughs> All right, it looks like it's working. We can kind of just darken up our favorite lines. Mm, it does seem like it's having a little trouble sticking where I put a lot of pigment, but where the color is light, it works pretty well. Yeah, I don't really wanna like clog the nib with lead that I've already put down. So I think we'll have to go the route of if I want to use the fine liners, use them first. I'm not sure why I drew mermaids. This is like the first time I'm drawing mermaids since May. Kind of was burnt out by the subject. <laughs> After drawing, what, 30 of them? Ugh. Let me try one last experiment using the fine liners first. Okay, and then I'm going to use the little colors on top of that. See if we have any problems. I don't foresee any problems going this route because <laughs> it's kind of a traditional way of doing things. Look, yellow, green. Hmm. You can kind of control where you put what to a limited extent. <laughs> But like I'm pushing too hard and I'm hurting my wrist and that's not something I want to do. <laughs> we can move into the Bristol board, but look how massive this paper is. Ooh, my wrist quakes. Sounds good. Very large piece of paper. Should we go landscape or portrait? I also still don't really know what I'm going to draw. Lately I've been kind of inspired by fashion. So maybe we can take that element and kind of mix it in with these nature colors and kind of like merge those two ideas together. I know I could look at the prompt word, which I don't remember what they were. No, I'm not really interested in those, it's fine. <laughs> well, let's go portrait, which side's the least dirty. Let's try and draw. I want to draw like a full body. I could start with full erase and be like really light with it. Very picky about my sharpeners. I want them to work 90% of the time. Looking like a trash can isn't the only resemblance you have to one. Oh, hey, I think I got it this time. Kind of have an idea. Let me just make sure the whole body fits on the page. Almost like a fashion illustration, but you know, my style. And I want it to be inspired by fashion. So we could do like 
oceany water. We could do storms. We could do rainforests, shrubbery forests. Um, we have flames. You know, there's so many different routes I could take. But I kind of am feeling the more organic planty materials. And maybe we could like stick water in there too, so it's almost like a turquoisey greens is what I'm seeing. Oh, you can't even see the feet on the camera. Let me show you. <laughs> is that better? Hands. This other hand can just be doing whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> it doesn't fit on camera. Can I zoom out a little? Yeah, I can. There you go. I'm going to lightly erase so that the purple doesn't interfere with anything. Nature. What, we got leaves, we got trees, we got flowers, we got water. How can I like incorporate that into an outfit? I think I want to try and pull the hair up and back into like a little bun that might resemble a bud of a flower. But I also... The other idea I had is like hair that's really long and flowing like water and then maybe the body has an outfit that's kind of designed more like leaves and things that grow. Oh, what if like the bun on her head's like a lily on a lily pad? Then we have the flowing hair of water. Oh, but then what would the body look like? I probably should uh, thumbnail some ideas, shouldn't I? <laughs> I don't know, I just want to like jump in, but that's probably a terrible idea. So we got the bun It's like a lily. We'd have a hat. <laughs> That's the lily pad. Maybe then the hair can be all flowy and watery. Maybe I could like modernize the outfit a little bit. Maybe something like a tube top. <laughs> Maybe a skirt. I don't know if I want to like directly make it look like all of these things or be more inspired. That's kind of why I'm trying it out and seeing what I like best. I like the sketch, but I don't know if it has anything to do with the outfit. What if I have this dark green and then I have sort of like lighter green stripes, kind of um, referencing the veins of a leaf? I don't know, I'm trying to like pull away from the literal and be a little bit more inspired. And then her top could be white or like the color of the same color as the lily, which might be white. I don't know. And then I want it to be like maybe shirred, kind of like how intricate flowers and life is. Let's just try it, you know? What's the worst thing that can happen? It turns out ugly. <laughs> Not like I've ever drawn anything like that before. <laughs> All right, so I wanted the hair to be probably a gradient. I don't know, maybe we can mix blue and green. Definitely mostly blue because I want it to be water. Right, let's sketch that out with this blue pencil. Kind of following the sketch that I made there. Still can't decide how literal I want this. Ah! All right, and then we need the... Uh, lily pad with a nice little slit in it. <laughs> lily on the top. Oh wait, actually, what am I doing? I want to use fine liners. <laughs> Why didn't anyone tell me? Let's see if I can make it through the drawing without messing up the nose by the end of it. <laughs> kind of want the larger. 0.5. Try to add in this flower. Try to put a little depth into the liner, widening some of these lines, giving it some variation. Definitely a bigger fan of this wider line. Not sure how to draw the shirring, if I should just do that in color or if I should do it in the line art stage. I'll leave it for now, figure it out later. <laughs> do this thumb, not too shabby. Not sure what I'm doing with this head. Why do I keep coloring it in darker, trying to fix it? Eh, it's fine. Oh, I wanted lines, not pleats. Ugh! Shoes. Oh, I didn't even think about shoes. Bare feet kind of seems natural. You know, because you're like one with the ground. Your toesies in the <laughs> grass and the dirt. Just drawing these little toes. Here we go. That should do. And I put them on little tippy toes so it kind of like lifts the character and makes them a little floatier looking. I don't know. Okay, now for the hair, which is what I'm kind of like really excited about. I wanted to have like a gradient from bluish to a green so it kind of gives it that watery look. So I've got this, we got these. Definitely want to start blue though. So maybe there's a dark and then maybe fade into this. Then maybe hopefully we can fade into these. 
We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Start light. Just get the texture of the paper visible. I can darken it up here because it'll definitely be a little shadow being cast by the lily pad. So that was ocean, and then I'm gonna slowly fade into the summer sky color. Those are very similar, aren't they? I kind of just want to add in the base tone first, and then maybe I can add in details after that. Let's try adding green down here at the bottom. Hmm, is that too much of a change? I'll try the colorless blender, see if I can like mush the colors together a little bit more. Change up the texture. I think I do want to just go over the whole thing with blue. Like I know exactly how I would do this if I had <laughs> digital art abilities here, but obviously that's not an option. Oh, that's kind of like helping. Adding in these strokes kind of like mushes the colors together a little bit more. Doesn't make them feel so separate. Going with the dark color. And then some of these strokes. All right, then we need, I might try to blend that out a little more, but for now I want to color in the lily pad. Start really light. I can maybe move into this darker forest color. Oh, this is rainforest actually. Ooh, I love that. That's a nice green. Can just add some texture to it. So it's not flat. And the eyes blue for now. Kind of want the skin to be like really tan is how I'm picturing it, but let's see. A little more neutral than that. I want it to be darker than that though. I can try that flame color. Although this looks way too orange. <gasps> yeah, can't win. Maybe I can mix it with like a red. Oh, I don't have a red. This is the closest I've got and it's got a gray in it. And I'm totally messing up the face. <laughs> we have a yellow. Might be able to darken it up with this. If you're ever wondering why I always leave the <laughs> skin paper white, this is why. But I won't give up. You, you learn by doing, right? <laughs> Can't keep avoiding it. I have like a purple. Not really, I have this. This is the closest I got. All right, I mean, I like it better than just leaving it white. Bit of a solution, I suppose. Not quite the color I want it to be to look good with like the way I did the hair. I kind of pictured it a bit more of like a golden brown. And this is a yellow with hints of red. I am limited by what I have available. So just gotta make it work. And I left too much skin. <laughs> yeah. All right, now the top, I wanted it to be green, but we're right next to the green of the hair, which for some reason I didn't connect that that would happen. But seeing it in practice, it does. So I think I'll make the top blue and the bottoms green. So I'm gonna add a light wash, hand <laughs> wash, a light coverage. And then I wanted that to look shirred, which is when the fabric is sewn with an elastic thread so that when you let go, it's all scrunched up and then you put it on your body and it like form fits. It has that really fun wobbly texture to it. <laughs> this looks like a cactus. Also this direction. Switch colors a little, add a little shading. That's a little bit close. I think I wanna go in with the red, kind of darken up some of them. I wonder if I could put a white gel pen on this. There's one way to find out. Hmm, you can. I think I'm gonna let that dry and then go over it with blue again, which will bring more blue into where I added a little too much red or sunset, I should say. All right, next I wanted the dress to be green and kind of like earthy. So let's start with our meadow color and lightly color in the whole thing, kind of like we did with the hair, but we're not going to put any blue on top of this. Don't let me do it. I don't want it to look too similar to the hair. All right, next let's go in. I'm gonna use the same color actually, but sharpen it. Go ahead and start adding in those lines. See how dark I can get this pencil. There's one stripe. That kind of has a look to it. I think I want them to be a little darker though, because they're blending in a little too much. So I'm gonna move over to Rainforest and darken up some of the lighter lines. Maybe I shouldn't do all of them. 
so it looks a little bit more organic. Eh, oh well, doing them all anyway. <laughs> now I can actually go back in this one and darken up some more areas. Still a little too green near the hair near this, so let's try and blow that up. Blow it up! <laughs> Not to be confused with blow it up. Try going over everything. A little bit more blue. Ungreenify it. Definitely need like a pinker color. These are all pretty dark. Oh, I decided to leave the top white. No! It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We just need to go in and color in the legs and see if I can uh, do anything else to ruin this. <laughs> I think I started with this color. I think I did the first coat with matty gold. I've forgotten how uh, time consuming colored pencils are. <laughs> They're not like uh, some of my favorite art supplies. See it in these kneecaps. It's coming together. I kind of like the way the yellow skin tone mixes with the red. It's kind of fun. Finish up the coloring down here. Blend it out as much as I can. Smooth out the textures. Legs look a little hairy, but you know, whatevs. It doesn't look like the same color. Maybe it does. All right, I'm sorry to hurt my wrist. <laughs> what else do I want to do? I'll try lightening up the top. It's just competing with some of the other colors and I don't love it. Two good reasons. Oh yeah, see, I already like that better. And it's super sloppy. <laughs> ah, yeah. Sounds like it was the right choice. Let's use a little blue to shade it. She's kind of cute. I don't think I really fit my uh, <laughs> theme of trying to like make it too nature-y inspired. The only thing is her lily pad hat. I kind of like it. And sometimes you just need a weird push from a weird direction to get you where you're gonna end up. <laughs> that meant nothing to me. This is a little white gel pen. Voila! I think she's kind of cute. I don't think she turned out too poorly. I do want to thank you guys. Oh, I almost clapped. I do want to thank you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Do you see that self-restraint? I do want to thank you guys for watching and for drawing along. I want to send a big thank you to Palletful for sending me this month's box to try out and share with you guys. Oh, I just almost did it again. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!